What is up guys, Val here with another Wizard 101 video. So um, today I'm going to be crafting a new spell. I've been, you know, this last couple of week, these last couple of weeks I've been gathering all the reagents, you know, farming the necessary bosses for what I need. It's, it's been a pain in the butt though for some of the reagents, uh, specifically Amber. Oh my, I, I think we even, we had a live stream where the whole live stream was just farming Amber. And I swear we fought Gladiator at least 30 times and we only got one or two Ambers. So it was kind of a downer. Anyways, I finally have all the reagents, so I'm gonna get to craft this Luminous Weaver spell, and, uh, I'm doing it specifically for PvP, you know, Luminous Weaver isn't really a spell that people use for normal questing, it's not, it's, it's a utility spell, I guess, because it hits, it hits hard in PvP for 4 pips, and then it also throws on a weakness, which is really useful, and it's not like, uh, Lore Master's weakness, so the Lore Master's weakness is minus 20, but the Luminous Weaver's weakness is minus 25, so it's a little bit stronger. It doesn't have the mantle, but it's still good. So I have to have that spell for when I do get to max level and start PvP. It's just it's an essential spell for life wizards to have at that level. So I hope you guys enjoy watching as I craft this. Uh, let me pull this up. Where is it? Alright, so we have eight reagents. We've got Luminous Weaver. That was really easy to get, honestly. I just went to the bazaar. There were a hundred there. Um Perfect Jade, you just buy those from the Reagent Vendor and Celestia. Same with Ghost Fire. Water Lilies. These were kind of tough. Uh, I, I, like, when I first saw the spell recipe for this, I was like, oh, Water Lilies, those are easy to get. But they're actually kind of hard. Uh, they're really rare at the Bazaar. And the, the way I got all of mines, basically, was through a Transmute spell, which was Transmute Water Lily. And I basically just gathered tons and tons of cattails and transmuted them until I got 100. So, that was tough. Uh, fish fins, really easy. I already had a ton on my other character, so I just moved them over. Same with scrap iron. Uh, sunstone, I actually didn't have a lot of these, so I also had to transmute, and you just do that with uh, sandstone. If you don't have sandstone, you can transmute that as well from stone blocks, which aren't too hard to get. Um, i seen them at the bazaar a lot. Anyways, and then the last reagent, amber. Amber was tough, because I... At the time, I only had one, and I had to farm for the remaining 11, and my god, the drop rate was so bad at Gladiator. I, All the other times that I fought Gladiator, I would get it every other time, so it was pretty common, you know? But it's just, this time, it just, it made it so difficult for me. The game, I would, I would get, you know, Amber Dust, or Aether, but, Aeth Aether, however you say it, Aether, I, I don't know. But Amber, I just, it took forever. So, it was a pain in the butt. So, finally got all 12 that I needed. Let's go craft this bad boy. So, I think uh, at max level, once I get the last enchant, if I enchant it, it's going to do 670, which isn't too bad for life. Alright, here we go. And I don't think we're even... There's another life spell you can train as well called Goat Monk. I just don't think it's really worth crafting. You know, it, it, just, it does a little bit more damage than Luminous Weaver, but... It doesn't have any other effects. I just don't see the point, you know? Alright, here we go. Slot ready. Cooldown 18 hours. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. This spell has been added to your spellbook. Luminous Weaver. Alright, let's go test this out. Delete a couple of those. So, uh, I want to talk a little bit about my character, you know, as it progresses. Right now, it is in Zafaria. Like, we, we just started Zafaria. So, I'll probably doing, be doing some live streams where you guys can come join me as I quest throughout the worlds. All the way up until Darkmoor. And then, of course, we're going to farm Darkmoor. Or, actually, I don't know. I might I might go for the um, the Rattlebones and the Crocopatra gear. Because I think it is a little bit better. The robe and the hat. And then for the boots, uh, either the Dark Moor or I'll just open Gulcher Packs maybe and get the Life Boots from there. Um, let's see. Actually, is there even Life Boots from the Gulcher's Horde? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go look into that. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is. Alright. Let's see what this looks like. So with Gargantuan, it does 595. And our Lift Wizard right now has over 100 damage because of our Super Piggle pet. So 
so this is gonna do a lot. Oh, and the crit. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Love the animation. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the Luminous Weaver spell. One thing off the checklist for this life wizard. And uh, now we just gotta quest him all the way up to max, get all his gear, and we'll be set for PvP. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Finally got away from you, away from you, and I ain't never going back there. If it's the last thing I'll ever do, I'll ever do. But now it's all I be because it's over and you're dead to me. You just a memory that I can't break, but I can't shake.